What's up guys? Jeff from Wisconsin RC Construction. Got some new shirts in uh, with the Facebook and the YouTube logo on it. Just something new we got. Let me tip this camera down a little bit here. And then I'm out of the light. Alright, so I wanted to give you guys some updates. So, the apprentice truck. How about I just show you? Um, I am not thrilled with the way the paint turned out. Um, not happy with it. I had some issues with the paint can itself. Uh, the green is a great color, man. I love this green. This green is this green is sharp. Let me tell you that. Um, that green compared to my orange shirt, it's hot, man. Um, I don't like the way it came out. I'm not happy with it. Uh, it's not setting right. So, you know what? If I'm not happy with it, I'm not going to sell it like that. Oh. Guess we're starting over. Brand new body to paint up. So, I know my son would like this one. I tried some things with the smoking out the windows. The front turned out okay, except for the flaw that I have here. And I started, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. The inside cab, though, did. Um, I have a little bit of paint on the seats. I put some brown on it, silver, just to lighten up the, the truck a little bit. We are going to have the tinted windows on the front and the rear to make it look like that apprentice truck, that newly hired guy, you know, that I, everybody is kind of like the new tool guy. Now you know what I'm talking about. That new tool guy, his boots are still clean. So we have his truck right here. I'm starting to get it all wired up. I have the body panels that I need to finish. But we have my famous Hobbywing ESC tucked up in here. I have a receiver tucked up in here. I'll get my on-off switch mounted to the bottom side of this so we can get it. Now I am uh, finishing up with the custom drive shafts uh, that I make to get this thing to be nice and tight and they're they should be dried by now but we're getting it um i also had a little bit of extra material that i printed for my dump bed so my dump bed well not really dump bed for my trailer so my trailer had some decking on it all right 3d printed decking i bought some desert uh desert tan and use that as the deck color. That's that big quad axle trailer that I printed. Um, that thing is massive, by the way. I do have it. I can show it to you. I'll pause this here in a second, um, if I can, and I'll show it to you that way. But they're all over my Wisconsin RC Construction Facebook page. The pictures are on there of my quad axle trailer. That thing is massive. Uh, the, the Dodge Ram sits on it. Way much room on front and back. So, that means that's going to be a really big trailer. It needs to work it in a little bit. It's 3D printed. Everything's 3D printed. The axles, the suspension parts, um, all the all of the suspension parts, the rims are all 3D printed, which means they need to work themselves in. they got to wear themselves in. Um, I didn't feel like taking them and putting them in a, like my drill, chucking it in a drill, and sanding down the parts um, to make them butter smooth. I figured if I drag the trailer around enough, it'll it'll smooth itself out where it needs to I'm not gonna do everything for it but the bed material I had some extra bed material so your stock bed is just the black I had a little bit extra I fit it in to cut and I thought it looked pretty sharp back there so we'll see actually how it works um, when it's all put together I'll include this in there I don't really you know that was that was just some some fun I had on a, a night. I just had some extra stuff lying around because the bed sheets come about like a six by six uh, sheet when you print them out. I think I needed about three quarters of an inch uh, to fill the space in the trailer. So we're gonna do a new body. The The doors are the doors turned out okay. Um, I gotta do some minor sanding on the doors to get them to be right. The All the rear body panels look good. 
I'm going to light sand them, and then I'm going to do a couple more coats. I do have a brand new can of this. So that's that Tamiya uh, TS-22, if anybody's wondering what color that is. Um, I'm going to start getting all my electronics wired in. I did start underneath by getting all of it wired up. My standard light controller that I use is underneath there as well. Uh, so I'll get your flashy lights. So you do have a little switch right at the underneath the driver's seat so you can kind of see the seats that I painted up kind of look leather made it for a good look made it interesting why not um, I also did print for sorry about that if you guys can hear the ambulance flew by um, I found a roof basket with some lights on it front and rear uh, I am going to see if I can make this work. Um, little test fit. I thought this thing made it look pretty, uh, pretty killer. I don't know how far I want to extend it out or whatnot. Let's see if I. So I'm not sure if I want to stick it out further, and then it's only hanging out the back of the bat a little bit. Um, not sure. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below um, this will be posted on the Facebook group as well as posted up on YouTube uh, to a link so tell me what you guys think of the light basket I'm thinking about adding a light switch controller to this now maybe um, I do like the idea of the roof basket I think it would add a really cool touch to it um, I kind of want to print one for myself now, except I have a construction beacon on the boss's truck. But that's the boss's truck, man. You don't mess with the boss. So, the apprentice truck will be available at Cabin Fever. Um, other things we've done, printed up some stuff. Some sewer parts. Uh, these files are available on Thingiverse as well. So, sewer piping kind of turned out a little oblong. So all I got to do is heat it up, shape it right, and we should be all good. Um, other than that, I've just been working on getting stuff put back together. Um, I need to redo the motors in the Mac. I got four brand new 200 RPM motors um, that surprisingly got here pretty quick. I'm going to start, I need to finish up the Delta loader. I saw Dennis just finished his Delta loader. I just have to get the bucket to tilt on my delta loader. Um, I have the arm lifting, the gearbox is in it, I already have batteries. I found a dual ESC that those little blist, red blister packed ones, except it had, it's a dual motor out control for tanks. Um, that was really cool. I'm glad I found that. That saved me a big headache. Um, a lot of guys use servo drives on those. I was not going to go that way. I did the Tamiya double drive uh, transmissions with the little uh, 180 can motors in them. So a little noisy, but once you put the cover on and you're out in the sandbox, uh, it's not that bad. So that's what we got going on. Um, like I said, we have the Ram. I'm not going to be putting a trailer hitch on the Ram. You'll get the stock brooder trailer hitch. We have that. We'll get the little some flashing lights put on front and rear for you guys. Preloaded with an XT30 connector on it. This is my motor lead, so I just have to tuck this down in here and connect my motor um, that's all soldered in and set up. The ESC needs to be plugged in, and that is going to go on a brand new four channel remote. I thought I had it somewhere right here. Um, Apparently it's up, oh, there it is. Thought I had it, and I do. So, brand new, four channel, the Dumbro. Not a little bad, not bad. I use the GT5s, this is a very comparable system. Three position switch right by your thumb. Same thing, on and off, right here by your thumb. So that's, that's nice. So that'll just be, what's going to be included in the RAM. Um, she is going to get repainted with a new body. I do still want to tint the windows. I like that idea of it. I think that'll look really cool. I'm going to tint the front and back just a little bit. 
maybe not as heavy as a tent so it won't uh, smear up on me and start to to go bad fast. I painted in the dark in the basement real quick just because I wanted to see. I ruined it, but that's okay. I got another one sitting right here for you, so we'll get that body all squared away. So, not much else has been going on. The excavator has got to go in for its new remote, so I got to take that into the shop, have them program, oh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, have them program up a new remote. I have to do the motors on the Mac, get that all buttoned up before cabin fever. I'd like to get the Western Star all converted, but that means I need to order more ESCs. If I don't use enough of them already, I could sure get a sponsor by Hobbywing and be really good then. Um, yeah, But everything else I have. Uh, I have all the lights, I have the light controllers, I have my servo for it, so that'll be all taken care of. I now have two brooder trailer semi-trailers because we did get another brooder semi-truck. We're going to keep that a standard uh, dual axle tandems to pull a trailer. Um, I should be getting, I got to pay for my drives and all that stuff because I am also going to do another, you see that brooder behind me, where is it, right there? So he is going to get done as well, except I'm not going to do tandems in the rear. Um, it's not going to be a tandem axle, it's going to be a single axle in the rear. It's not being used, the yellow dump bed, it's actually going to be using the flat bed where you fold down the shallow dump bed on that one. I think I like the look of that thing a little bit better, so it'll be a real short kind of truck. Um, I'd like to see if I can get a plow on that one. I think it would look really cool. So I'll have to be hitting up uh, Mr. Rick Perry for a plow. Um, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be on Dylan Dixon's drive system, so just be rear wheel drive and I'm using some aluminum frame rails. So that'll be really cool. I'm gonna be using the same Tinsy dump motor that I have on my other Mac. So I'll have plenty of power. So I'm gonna need, I need a handful of Hobbywing ESCs, buddy. That's the one thing. Um, so we got an apprentice truck coming, finishing up here real shortly. I got to take in the excavator, get that done, solder up some connections for my motor and my Mac. Digging season is pretty much done. Um, it's been like 30 degrees. The sand's no fun to play in right now. It's no fun to sit outside. So it's building time. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys do in the winter time. I'd love to have a setup in the basement or in the garage like some of you guys. I don't have that luxury right now. Uh, Hopefully that'll change in a few years. I'm hoping to get some things put together. I definitely need a bigger space. This card table that I'm working on is pretty small. Um, and I'm working on some pretty big stuff now. Like the Spiker Works trailer takes up my whole table. I actually, most of the time I work with it on the ground one side or the other. That's how long it is. So, videos will be coming a little more sporadic. Um, quick little updates on builds. No more digging. Um, I will be at Cabin Fever. Uh, I will be having all my stuff there. So if you want to see some stuff, um, maybe I'll go live later this week and sit with you guys. Um, maybe Wednesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Wednesday the 3rd. Yep. Wednesday the 3rd. I think I'm going to go live with you guys, sit on Facebook, on the Wisconsin RC Construction Group. Um, so if you guys have questions, want to see anything, have have the big questions. Think of them now. Ask them then. I will be gladly to show you anything. How I do stuff, anything that I don't know, we'll all reach out. We'll all get it figured out. So, all right, guys, until next time, happy digging, get building, and I hope to see you guys out there one day. Catch you later.